Today I'm going to show you how you can use recycled electricity to recharge your batteries. What is recycled electricity? Well, it's electromagnetic waves that are emitted from your electronic devices like a microwave, a refrigerator, a telephone, or even an oven. I want to show you how to put that electricity to use. The supplies you need is some wire, a battery holder, a rechargeable battery, a full wave bridge rectifier. Part number from Radio Shack is 276-1173. And that's 4 amps at 400 volts. A antenna. I got this one off at Old TV, but Radio Shack does carry these. A multimeter, it'll help give you better accurate results. The design is very simple. This is your bridge rectifier. That's your antenna. This is a ground. This wire goes to the positive of the battery, and this wire goes to the negative of the battery. It couldn't be any more simpler. This is the part where it can get dangerous. So I try this experiment at your own risk. Notice how I have the plug, a screwdriver, and an alligator clip. I put the screw into the ground hole. It's not one of those line holes, it's a circle hole. This is where it gets dangerous. If you put that in the wrong hole, you can electrocute yourself and actually start a fire. And that's why I use a screw that wouldn't be able to fit into those little rectangular holes. So try this experiment at your own risk. I only put this video up for informational purposes only. Alright, so I'm going to show you how you can build it. Right now I'm going to use alligator clips just for the convenience of it. I already have my alligator clip hooked to my antenna. And I like to lay the antenna horizontal. I find that it gives better results that way. I'm just going to hook it up to the antenna part of the bridge rectifier, rectifier I'm sorry. and I have my ground, it's two alligator clips connected to the household ground. Be very careful. Just like so. Then I'm going to take my positive alligator clip, connect it to the bridge rectifier, and I'm going to take my negative. Connect it up and then connect the battery. And just like that. Then the battery will recharge itself. But be very, be very careful though. The battery, this is not a smart charger, so do not overcharge the battery. This is where the multimeter comes in handy. So constantly check your voltage. But the charger is slow, so check it every so hours. This is what it will look like when it's recharging. Turn that down a notch and. you can see it recharging itself running off recycled electricity from your house just imagine this electricity would have been wasted but now it's being put to good use Give you overshot view. Rechargeable battery. Bridge rectifier. Antenna. And household ground. No trickery here. Just simple science.
And like I said, it is a very slow charger. There's also one thing I'd like to point out of why you would want to do this. Well, for a simple fact, this is wasted electricity. And the thing is, you already bought this electricity, but you didn't know it was already there, so technically it's free. And you're going to put it to good use. So really, the electricity that you're charging your battery with didn't cost you anything.